it's a good entry point into the other big debate in our national life, which is just over the state of the economy. You know, I, as a journalist, I find it really dis disturbing that you just don't know which facts to believe in. You know, the, even statistics, data, facts, like everyone authoritatively tells you another truth. You know, we, our previous session we were talking about being post-human. We are certainly in a post-truth era, you know. So I would like to understand from you what is the truth, you know, and are you capable of saying the truth? Because the central government tells us, and indeed the IMF, the World Bank, Everyone says that India is the fastest growing economy in the world. Then you have Mr. Raghuram Rajan, who says that we are at a Hindu rate of growth. Then you have the RBI saying that there's going to be 7% GDP. Then you have people like you, Mr. Arvind Subramaniam, Raghuram again, and innumerable others, pointing to our last GDP quarter being 4.1%. You know, it's like a bulbulaya. You just don't know <laughs> whom to believe. Let, let me start let, with no, that. No, let, let me do everybody a service here, right? <laughs> let, me, let me talk about some basic things. Uh, actually, I have a caveat. First, let me start by saying that the entire data measurement mechanism system is completely rotten. I have the standing to say that because by this measurement system made by somebody else, my chief minister, our government has delivered faster growth lower inflation and half the fiscal and uh, revenue deficit of the government of India. So after I do all of that, I still say the system is rotten, right? It's not like I'm sour grapes. I deliver, then I say it's bad data anyway. Now I say, we live in this age where like, you know, uh, I, let me give you some examples. I don't even know how to describe this kind of you know, two plus two is equal to four suddenly becomes a great thing of national pride, right? <laughs> we are the president of the G20. Is that a sign of anything? No, it goes by rotation. <laughs> Who got us into the G20? <laughs> what is this? Like you go around saying, oh, I'm president of the G20, right? Every year, every month we get a statement. Oh, we have record GST revenues. By the nature of inflation, and the fact that we have higher population and higher economy, unless you are failing every month, you should have a higher number. Why is that a great sense of pride? Like it's meaningless, right? It's just that's the way numbers work, right? I'll give you another example. They say, oh, we have the fastest rate of growth. There's something called a low base effect. No other country had the recession that we had when we had COVID. We went down minus 8% in real terms. Not Tamil Nadu. We grew. This country went down. Now you say you have got the fastest growing economy. I ask a simple question. Go back and look at yourself three years ago and look at other countries two, three years ago. How far have you bounced back compared to how far down you went? So the spin machine is fantastic. It takes something like saying, you know, the sky is blue. And then we're all supposed to thump our chests and say, wow, what a great country we live in. The sky is blue. Right? I mean, basic facts. Just basic facts. Anybody like high school algebra will know that this is just the way the numbers go. Right? I, I, I don't understand why like, this becomes a huge deal. Right? right. Well, you know, I, I do have to play devil's advocate because there's nobody here to combat what Fair you're enough. saying. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.